When it comes to solar panels, the key to really understanding it is actually look into what efficiency means and, and really get your head around understanding solar panel efficiency. Basically, when they talk about efficiency, they're attempting to recreate the, the autumn equinox and spring equinox. So in the factories, they recreate what spring equinox and, and autumn equinox is, and that's how they test panels to their efficiency in a factory. Now that's all in great and well if we had spring and, and autumn equinox all year round. It's really important to understand for your situation. Crystal panels will always be at those two peak optimums, the most efficient when it comes to looking at efficiency, tested at that there. If you throw a thin film solar panel in there, for example, a thin film solar panel, most good quality thin film solar panels are heat tolerant up to about 60 to 80 degrees. So that means the panel can get up to 60 to 80 degrees, and what happens is then that panel will start to deteriorate in, in its performance. Most mono crystal panels, they'll start to deteriorate once they get over that 25 degrees. So when it comes to the summer months, a mono crystal panel won't perform as well. A poly panel, a poly panel will tend to perform a lot better um, than a crystal panel when it comes to the heat. So it's really understanding those efficiencies and those differences. And, and also, have a look at that for every single panel manufacturer because there is some panel manufacturers that make a, a mono crystal panel that have better heat efficiencies. So it's really getting to understand you know, for your specific situation. Now just quickly, to give you a brief understanding, um, with with the, the downsides to a, a crystal panel, is what happens is when one of these signets is shaded, is that panel will, start to, will stop performing. So if they're all wide in series, high voltages on your roof, what happens with one of your panels stop working, your whole panel stop working. So if you've got a tree that shades one of those panels, it'll stop working. The downside as well, they don't like to get hot crystal panels. So when they get hot, they produce less power. So it's just about understanding those losses and if it's going to work for you and your family in your specific situation. The thin film solar panels are shade tolerant and heat tolerant. They also work better on cloudy days because they pick up an infrared from the from this light spectrum which will give you more energy production on a cloudy day. For us as a family we, we chose these and um, it's great to watch the solar charge controllers on a rainy cloudy day watching them produce enough energy to power our house for the day from on those days. Now, the, the polycrystal panels, they're a little bit more susceptible to heat, so they can get a little bit hotter, and they're not susceptible to the shading. So have a look into what's gonna work best for you and your family when it comes to your solar panels, and choose which is the most efficient for you. If you look at a crystal panel, you might not have the roof space, and a crystal panel with the losses might work in your area, and you might live in a cooler climate, and have a small roof and you'll get away with these. The poly panels, you, you might have a small roof and have a bit of shading, so you might be able to use those, or you might actually have the space like we do, and be able to choose to install the thin film solar panels that work more efficient when it's hot, when it's cloudy, when it's raining, and, and, and you get more of an overall performance over the year. So it's really important when it comes to solar to really understand the best technology for you and your family, what's gonna work best on your roof, and what I've found in my experience in dealing with solar guys, it's pretty simple. Though normally they'll sell three different types of panels and three different types of inverters, and that's about basically what they do. When you're looking in the DIY market, it's really, really important to look at all the different brands and understand your roof space and your climate and the temperature and what's really gonna work for yourself. Like these crystal panels here, for example, this is what I choose. I've actually got them mounted on my car. I'll show you a picture there. Of, I actually have them on the bonnet of my car. I use them for my camping. Um, I choose to use these when camping because they produce the most amount of power on a small space, which is a bonnet of a car, and that's what I want the most amount of power to, to get when I'm camping. So everything's got its application, and do the research and really understand what that efficiency means and how it's gonna work in your situation. Don't just let the solar guy that's selling you some panels tell you what's gonna be best for you and your situation because it's not. Every single roof's different, every single climate's different, and there's gonna be a different panel that's gonna suit everyone's different situation all around the world.